Thursday at which Sundays in Queensland, October 22, 2009. Sailboats were moving in and out as we approached the Able Point Marina in Early Beach, the gateway to Australia's Whit Sunday Islands. It's a beautiful marina. It's also my third port stop in Australia. A local catamaran tendered us to the shore for the Proserpine River and Crocodile Safari. We transferred to the courtesy bus for the 30 minute ride that took us to the campsite, which would be the base for our safari adventure. Along the way, we passed by several sugarcane plantations. Once at the camp, a couple of locals greeted us for a short briefing and orientation. This one now we encourage you to pick up. That's the head of about an eight foot up, something that ginger size there. You might see her later. But uh, we want you to have a close look at this one. We're going to play CSI Proserpine River today. So if you can see any clues there, that might indicate how it died. Come, come now we do have a croc skin here. That's the belly skin of a little four footer. So uh, that's the reason that these animals are almost shot to extinction here in Australia. They hunted them for over 25 years to make fashion products. We think it looks better on the crocodile than on the shoes and the handbags. Okay. Now we do have a crocodile egg there. You can check that out as well. It's a hard shelled egg too. Uh, a bit unusual for reptiles, mostly leathery sort of eggs that threat the fly, but uh, this one here. Our sightseeing boat was lowered by a crane into the river. Slowly but surely, we boarded a pontoon boat, followed by a safety briefing, before exploring the Proserpine River and see some crocodiles as they move around their natural habitat in the Gorgonga wetlands. We were all excited with our cameras ready, for we had hoped would be plenty of crocodiles swimming in the area or roaming around the shores of the river. Ten minutes, thirty minutes, and soon our excitement started turning into disappointment. We should probably have done some fishing like these local folks were here for. The river is pretty much calm and empty. It was just us looking around and waiting for one of us to scream, spotting a crocodile, even a very small one. It's a very pretty copper colored band on the back of the head and under the breast, that's where the buff band comes from. Just see them sitting there, picking off a bit of tucker on the Maybe we scared the crocodiles into hiding, or they went on strike. I thought our guide was very patient, and he wasn't giving up. We however kept ourselves busy and tried to enjoy taking pictures of the wetland surroundings and learn about this unique ecosystem. And then, about an hour later, our mood turned positive. We finally spotted our first crocodile. If you look in the mouth of the saltwater croc, you will never see a hole at the back of the throat. The mouth open like that. And the reason for that is they have a little valve on their tongue. It's called the palatal valve. Immediately, we started to get our cameras busy clicking away and trying not to miss these precious moments. It's good to observe these long-jawed and thick-skinned reptiles in their natural habitat. There's a mud bank there. Just cruising out. He's about three points. Our guide did his best to get us closer for a better look. In the end, we encountered three crocodiles and still felt satisfied. 
it wasn't a wasted tour after all. Before heading back, our guide also checked on his crab trap. It looked like he captured a few crabs. Do we have any vegetarians with us today? No? Well, if anyone's lacking their five veggies for their day, a couple of veggie patties in the end one. Back to the camp, a lunch buffet of delicious Aussie style barbecue of meats and salads awaited us. For the second part of the excursion, we boarded an open air tractor drawn wagon train for the wildlife tour through the Gongorga wetlands. Now, as I turn left here, if you all look to the right, you'll see the height of the river at the moment. Still flooding, I believe getting quite high and go. That way when they come around three or four months time you could, can't even tell that they were there the first time. So they can do it again. This other guy talk a lot about the surrounding trees and what they could be used for. Because the bloke only comes in with his honey every second week. The week he did turn up, so did this scientist. I was happy going for the ride, but sometimes when the wagons made us stop for longer talks, I just wished for it to be over. A few were interesting, but most of it took too long and I honestly wouldn't remember any of it. When it was all over, we headed back to the camp. Now the original dab was made of plain flour, salt, and a bit of creek water. Happy for the ride, we were invited for some snacks of the locally baked and freshly cooked damper and to have a taste of the traditional billy tea. Afterwards, it was a show time for the crabs we fished out of the river. It would have been nice if we had the time for the boiled crabs. They're very uh, good to eat. They actually taste better than lobster, I reckon. They go to color the The tour ended when we saw our ride coming to pick us up and take us back to the marina for the tender back to the ship. Thank you.